It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. Muskamania, brother. That's right, all Elon, all the time. But before we get to that, on yesterday's video, Crypto Alchemist commented, Insider trading is exactly what the OpenSea case is, and my money is on Sailor 2. That was in reference to my question of Sailor versus Schiff in a celebrity boxing match. But you're not here for celebrity boxing, you're here for Elon Musk, and your host Andrew has a big ol' scoop of Musk. For this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. Let's go. First up, Elon Musk will proceed with a planned takeover of Twitter after all. For now, anyway, Tesla's CEO is willing to pay $54.20 per share, matching the original offer made earlier this year. The proposal was made by letter according to people who are familiar with the matter. Shares in Twitter spiked on Wall Street, rallying from $42.95 to $47.93 in the span of eight minutes, and trading was even temporarily halted. This comes after months of fighting between Musk and Twitter, with the billionaire claiming that the true number of bots on the social network is far higher than estimated. This is a clear sign that Musk recognized, heading into Delaware court, that the chances of winning versus the Twitter board was highly unlikely, Wedbush analyst Dan Ives said. Analysts say this is an embarrassing U-turn and that it's a bitter pill to swallow for Musk. Many legal experts have argued that concerns over bots wouldn't have been enough to terminate the deal anyway, mostly since this was one of the main motivations for buying the tech giant to begin with. A more pressing factor may have been the fact that Musk was set to undergo a deposition on Thursday and Friday, amid speculation that damaging revelations could come to light. But now, questions remain on whether the billionaire actually intends to go on with the deal, or whether this is just another weird stall tactic. Given Musk's frequent flip-flopping, Twitter will undoubtedly want the judge to ensure everything is airtight before the court case is wound up. In a cryptic tweet, Musk said that buying Twitter is an accelerant to creating X, the everything app. But what exactly is an everything app? Well, they haven't really made an impression in Western economies yet, but over in China, super apps have taken the economy by storm. Perhaps the best example is WeChat, which brings together social networking, payments, and shopping all in one place. This platform is now used on a daily basis by more than one billion Chinese consumers. There would certainly be hurdles to overcome for such an app elsewhere. Regulators in the US and Europe won't be keen about a single app achieving too much dominance in the market. Another big question concerns whether crypto payments would feature an X also. And as a final wrinkle on today's Muscomania extravaganza, Dogecoin rallied when it was confirmed that Elon Musk's deal to buy Twitter was back on. The meme coin shot up from 66.7 cents to 65.66 cents in the span of just one hour. That was up 8.22%. Coin market cap data shows that Doge has largely held on to these gains since the news emerged. Musk's affinity for Dogecoin dates all the way back to April of 2019, when he declared, Dogecoin might be my fave cryptocurrency. It's pretty cool. Earlier this year, before the billionaire made his first takeover bid, he contemplated whether Doge should become a payment method for the premium Twitter Blue service. Beyond dog-themed altcoins, Musk's acquisition could be good news for the crypto industry overall, though, especially if there's a clampdown on bots and spam. Speaking of dogs, notice me, Elon. I'll, I'll talk like a dog for you. Roof. Roof, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed, Roof, whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. Bow wow wow. And what do you think, dear viewer? Is this legitimate? Not my dog impression, but is Elon actually buying Twitter, or is this just a 4D chess move that only Elon can calculate? Let us know in those comments below because I read them, and I'll shout out my favorites in the next episode. Want to read up on the lure for the Twitter Elon saga? Ask Alex in the description below for more info on today's headlines and crypto in general. Alex is also a great resource for all things Web3 and the Metaverse, and actually does have a sizable archive of past Elon stories. And that does it for today. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see you all tomorrow with news that isn't centered around one person. I hope.